Hello and welcome to this A-Level Chemistry exam question walkthrough where I'm going to be taking a look at an atomic structure question specifically about isotope abundance. Feel free to download the question in the description, have a go at it yourself and then watch my video to see how you got on. When I'm going through the question I will be modelling my thinking behind the question and writing that in blue and the answers that are going to get you the marks will be written in purple. This question is about atomic structure. A. Define the mass number of an atom. Well, the mass number is defined as the number of protons added to the number of neutrons. And so these are the things that you find in the nucleus of the atom. And they're the subatomic particles in the atom that have got the mass. And so the mass number is very literal because in chemistry the mass of an electron is taken to be zero. And so this is the number of things in the atom that have got mass. In B, complete the table below to show the numbers of neutrons and electrons in the species shown. First of all, we've got titanium 46. So the mass number is 46. So that means that the number of protons added to the number of neutrons is equal to 46. Now titanium has a mass number of 22. And so that means when we subtract that 22 away from the 46, we get 24 neutrons in the nucleus of titanium. And in titanium 49, the mass number is this time 49. And so 22 protons subtracted away from 49 gives us 27 neutrons. And then the electrons, well, for atoms, the number of electrons is the same as the number of neutrons. So you can see that the first titanium has got no charge. So equal numbers of protons and electrons. So 22. In the second one, titanium has got a 2 plus charge. So since there are 22 protons, it would start with 22 electrons as well. But it's positive 2, which means it's lost 2 negative electrons. So the number of electrons is 20. In C, we're told that a sample of titanium contains 4 isotopes with a mass of 46, 47, 48 and 49. This sample has a relative atomic mass of 47.8. And what that means is the average mass of an atom of titanium has got a mass of 47.8. So there'll be some 46, 47, 48 and 49, but the average of them, if you had 100 of them on a balance, would be 47.8. And so that's how the relative atomic mass is different to the mass number. Mass number is always an integer, relative atomic mass is often a decimal, and we report it to one decimal point. We're told that the ratio of abundances of the isotopes of 46 is 2 to 2 to 1 for the titanium 49. And we're being asked to calculate the percentage abundance of titanium 46 in this sample. Now this seems strange because we've not been told anything about titanium 48 and we would instinctively think that we're being asked to work out the percentage of that, which we could do and then work backwards to work out what titanium 46 must be. But it is easier in this instance to assign each part of this ratio a letter and let's just pick N for number. And so the ratio of titanium 46 is 2N to 2N to 1N. And then since percentages are out of 100, the abundance of titanium 48 can be taken to be 100 minus these five Ns that we've used so far. And so when we calculate the relative atomic mass, we do this by adding together the product of the mass number multiplied by the abundance and then add that to the mass number multiplied by the abundance of the next isotope and we keep going on and on and on until we run out of isotopes. And then we divide it by the sum of the abundance on the bottom, which is usually a percentage, so 100, but not always. And so since we know the relative atomic mass is 47.8, we then work this out by doing 46, the mass number, multiplied by the abundance 2n, add that to 47 multiplied by 2n, add that to 49 multiplied by, two, by 1n, and then add that to 48 multiplied by this complicated looking abundance of 100 minus 5n. 
And then if we calculate this in stages, we have 47.8 is equal to 92n plus 94n plus 49n plus 4800 minus 240n. And then this is all divided by 100. And then we rearrange that, and so we have 47.8 multiplied by 100, so that is 4780, is equal to 235n plus 4800 minus 240n, and then 4780 is equal to 4800 minus 5n, and so if we move the 5n over to the other side and then subtract 4780 from both sides, we are left with 5n being equal to 20, and so n is equal to 4. And so if we return to our original abundance, which was a total of 100, which was why 48 was 100 minus n, and so that means that the abundance of 49, for instance, is 4%, because n is equal to 4, 47 is 2 lots of 4%, so 8%, and 46, which is what we were interested in, is going to be 2 times 4 as well, so 8% abundance. And remember, we might have been asked to calculate the abundance of the mass 48 titanium, and that is 100 minus 5n, so that means that is 80%. I did mention that there were two ways that you could do this. The second way doesn't work in percentages, and so it's not quite so routine as the other. What we could have done is treated the original ratio as the actual abundance, so 2 and 2 and 1. And so the difference would come in our expression here, where we've multiplied at first 46 times by 2n, we would just multiply it by 2 and 47 would also just be multiplied by 2, 49 would be multiplied by 1, and 48 would be multiplied by our own unknown number, which we'll just call n, like before. And then the total abundance wouldn't be a percentage, it wouldn't be 100%, this time it would be 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus n. And then we would have this expression beneath, which we would then solve for n. Having done that, we would know that n would end up being 20. And so the total abundance would then become 25. And so the titanium 46 isotope is 2 out of that 25, which then is multiplied by 100, and we get 8%. And so you can see that you arrive at the same answer both methods. This method doesn't use percentages, whereas the other one did. Okay, that's the end of this question and the end of this video. I hope it was useful. I'll see you again soon.